And now they got to do something with it. And Ben quickly gets it to the second server. This morning, the parking lot was already full. And championship court, the spectators are making their way in. And it's uh, here in the desert, not even 9 a.m. yet. I know Hannah said at the top of the broadcast last week, it was or, uh, week one, I should say. It was. And play in pickleball. Yes, we do. That was uh, Marcin Rospetsky. And so 3 9 1. Guffin and Stratman trying to hang in in this first game, but Ben Johns just put the power and the quickness on display. Oh, well placed shot by Ben Johns off the backhand. It just catches. And then gets to hit a little bit closer down the line to finish the point. Anywhere. Yeah, you've got to be ready for the power game, but if you if you overplay it, the finesse game is there. Wow, how about that? That was power, finesse, that was all of it. And corrected, that was that first one did catch in, and now the side out, so the serve back over. Wow, how about Anna Lee going down and get that one? is wide. And another point for Waters and Johns. How about that? And in a situation like this, he knows that it will be the second or third shot that will actually get them, get him the point. Same here. Yes, you can kind of see Ben and Anna Lee finding their groove again. They have more energy. You just saw on the big screen, Anna Lee going for an earning. And that's wide. So five straight points for Waters and Johns after being in a 2 nothing hole. Yep. Just getting tapped right now. So super excited to just kind of be part of this journey. Ben goes to the lob, and that sets up the shot there. And Ben with a couple of shots there that could have won it, and that one finally does. Guffin returns the ATP. And Ben lets it go, and there it is. Waters and Johns, a perfect two for two on this PPA Tour season. I'd say the new partnership is working, Dan. CJ. <laughs> and right on cue, he did it for you, Irina. That was impressive. The ATP well defended. Matt. Replay. Johns and Johns just trying to get on the board, and they do. With a tag, too. And then Ben gets the serve back. His shoulders are starting to move quite aggressively. That yes. means from that spot in the middle, he can probably do five or six different things with his forehand. Great communication to let that one go. Good example there. Yeah. Oh, great deceptive shot there by Ben. Got Riley leaning the wrong way. And, uh, if maybe Matt needs a little bit of a breather, I could anticipate a switch in this match. Ben was ready for Riley to change it up. 
And then puts it away. Gonna have. Oh. into the net after the firefight. Critical juncture of this first game. And Banks speeds it up, and it pays off. Yeah! Ben excited about that result. That's just too good. Medal in singles in the first tournament she's ever played, and uh, both her and Jace, they've been giving us uh, mixed doubles tips all weekend, so we really appreciate it. Ben paints the back corner. Tremendous dipping volley by Ben Johns made a coach really impossible. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. It was a nice read on Riley's part, yeah. but the execution on Ben's part prevented Riley from succeeding. I want to see more earnings from Matt Wright. Yes. Let's go, Matt. Great backhand by Hello. Ben. Colin finally works in a couple of shots. And then Matt hits a long. Oh, they let it go and it lands in. It's third for the finisher. Irene, you think you've ever had a uh, 100 hit point? I think I might have had a few of those. That last one was 65 shots, we're being told. The Ernie, well timed by Ben Johns. And using every last millimeter. What great oh. defense by Riley, but ultimately Ben comes out on top. We talked about before, everyone can play, and you know, now the now the job is to elevate it, bring big partners into this sport. Oh, Riley, great job of catching up to it. Why, man, you felt like that point should have been over about five times. Because you got to scramble your way back into it. A little flick, a flick of the wrist there by Ben Johns. Another reason these uh, dink rallies have been so long is that the players are doing a fantastic job resetting their feet and regaining position. Oh, wow. Boy difficult to execute and the chances of missing wide are higher and that's why Ben is leaving that shot open. Welcome to the Johns Brothers Reset Clinic. 
feel like one more point by the Johns brothers will be seeing a timeout here. Oh, great anticipation on the Ernie by Ben. One. And that makes it 8 3. 6 10 2. John's brothers both back on the baseline. Now they're able to get back up. And Colin able to put it away. Ben lets it go, it's wide, and that's it. Turn cross court to Tyson's forehand. And he's been able to cover the court a little better from that spot. Well placed shot there by Points. Points. He's put to the net in this game. Goes for the Ernie there and executes it. Side out. Oh, great job getting that ball by Tyson. Ben finally able to come up with the winner with the backhand. Guffin able to catch up to it a couple of times. And Ben with the finesse as McGuffin was a little bit winded after covering a lot of ground. Boy. Both men making the other work. And then the backhand by Johns to get the serve back and the fist pump on top of it. Instantly called that one. coming soon. And now we're even at three apiece. John's right back. Pretty much always the same motion, same pace. You know, we spend a little bit of time drilling and practicing that. Oh. But then survives. Oh, what a shot by Johns. Yeah. Well, your passion shines through. We thank you very much for all of your hard work, and I know it's not an easy job, which you do, but we very much appreciate it. Thanks, Bill. And make it a tie Boys. game. Johns will get the serve back two points Side away. Out. So John's for the Triple Crown. Oh, John's able to catch up to it. Point. How did he do that? What a sick trick <laughs> right there. Unbelievable. What a way to finish the day in Mesa as Ben Johns takes the Triple Crown here at the Arizona Grand Slam.